she would have been probably around eight. Her rhythmic gym coach picked up on it and said, you know, she had the start of scoliosis and we'd been to the doctor and they said, don't worry about it, lots of kids have it, it's nothing to worry about. And we, you know, just put in the back burner and didn't think anything of it. She diagnosed at 15, it was late, and then um, her orthopedic surgeon um, wanted um, to keep watching her. That's the same old story, um, we'll watch her in six months, we'll watch her in six months. So we had a series of a year and a half that he was waiting for her to be in surgery range. Yeah, we kind of just took it for granted that what the doctors were saying was it's minor, there's nothing to worry about, so we didn't look any further into it. I did try and look for exercises and things like that because I like to take a, a holistic approach to things. So It was so confusing to us. We knew nothing about scoliosis. So And no one was helping us really. You don't know what you're trying to do when you've got a 16 degree curve. Yeah. You don't know how it can progress. You don't know what's going to happen. 15 degrees, he said, you know, a lot of children have it, don't worry about it. He said, we'll keep an eye on her and um, get you back in a year. Follow up of that a few months later and it was, the curve was getting worse and we were getting concerned. So I think it was like 15 months, maybe 18 months, and now it was, so we got the x-ray back and it had gone to 30. And then I get uh, shown into the room and they just, yeah, that's not 30 degrees, that's 50 degrees. We had the last x-ray done in New Zealand, she was at 36 degrees. And I said, okay, she needs a brace and that probably won't work, so we'll do surgery after that. And I just went, oh my gosh, what, this is not, we thought it was just all right. She said it's not 40, she's in the middle and late 50s. So the second she got into surgery range, he took an x-ray and he said, okay, she's ready for surgery, go schedule. And I just felt like I should have been um, notified, educated early on in her watching mode that that's what they were waiting for. They never felt like they wanted to brace her. It's like they were just waiting to do surgery. It was just really overwhelming for me and I felt very, uh, confused and kind of betrayed just like oh I don't know what's happening you know like why is this happening to me but we didn't know what we were trying to avoid or now that you're here you know sort of what it's from the nerve tension and everything because if you get those curves low you've got so much of a better chance of straightening them out a lot quicker and we didn't know that. There was no way she was having an operation. No, she said, I'm not going that way. And of course, we didn't want her to go that way. Dewey is not doing the surgery. So we had to find something. You didn't want surgery. I knew immediately I didn't want to do surgery. And we were willing to do anything, anything it took. So I want to have to get the surgery. No surgery, please. Yeah, that's. That's, that's all that's important to me. Don't wait and see. <laughs> Definitely don't wait. Get, get on to it. I'd get here much sooner. That's, and that's what I'd tell people. Um, don't wait till you're in the 30s. Do it much sooner. And if you're getting x-rays done, keep an eye on it more regularly. Take action now, don't let it ruin your life more than like it's gonna like don't give it extra time to get worse or something just like get the treatment over with and be able to uh, like feel secure in the fact that it's not gonna it's gonna get better.